winning is obviously very important to you. Now, winning for winning's sake is important. But do you like to beat another man? Yeah, I do. Yes, I like to beat another man. <laughs> well, you smile about it. You like to crush another man's ego? Uh-huh. 72% of you are not subscribed. Subscribe. Do it. All right, welcome back to MLB The Show 21. We are back with no money spent. And we got some packs to open, and we got a lot of progress to talk about. So... We're actually not going to open the packs right away. We're going to get around to this part first because it's going to give us a few packs. So, let's get into that. Let's go to the collections. As I said, I would get the NL done. I'm pretty sure I said that last video. Pretty sure I said that last normally spent. But, I'm going to keep my word. New York Mets is done. As you can see, we do auto select 40 out of 40. Marlins is done 40 out of 40. And the Atlanta Braves is done 40 out of 40. And that will give us each uh that will give us the nl east division and also the nl to complete so we finally got the nl done for no money spent it is about time john franco can be added to the bullpen for we only have josh Hader as a lefty in my bullpen well that's a fucking problem let's take bruce sitter out of the bullpen get a second lefty in there Marlins, that's done. I had to go buy Starling Marte, which kind of sucked. That's 5,000 stubs that I could have avoided at one point by buying him. I had to buy Ozzy Albays, who's going to be going diamond. If you do not know that, he's kind of like an obvious pick. He is going to be going diamond for sure. NL East, we got the NL East done. So now we got Tom Glavin. In my opinion, probably the best pitcher in the game. Or top three, I'd say. There is, you know, Edward Cabrera, but I, I love Tom Glavin. We handed all the NL. We got Alfonso Soriano in the lineup now, and he's already parallel one for me playing BR. We're actually going to go ahead and throw Alfonso at second base. Uh, I just said last video that Mookie Betts probably shouldn't start in the lineup anymore. 89 overall. He's sitting 400, but at the end of the day, those stats are going to fall apart. As we go up in the ratings, he's just going to not really be able to keep up anymore. Um, comes the actual lineup. I feel like we're fine there. We do have... Tom Glavin in the rotation. This is kind of like our... Yeah, I'd say this is probably how I see my rotation as. Maybe like that, actually. I don't think I see DeGrom as a number two. I see him more as a middle pack guy for me. All right, so we got John Franco added to the bullpen, my second best reliever. We got Alfonso Soriano thrown at second base. Actually, my first 99 overall for the lineup. I just realized that. Al Alfonso Soriano's my first 99 overall. And Tom Glavin. Think of, uh, like, look at that, huh? Best two overalls in the rotation are both Mets. Ain't that something. All right. So, packs we got to open. We got five standards, team affinity. We actually got, don't got a ton, even after all that. Uh, but let's go ahead and open this. Take the Braves jersey. I do like that jersey quite a bit. Did not mean to open the team affinity pack. I end up getting a bronze, okay. Go ahead and take whatever out of this. Doesn't really matter. We'll open this pennant pack because that doesn't really matter either. Uh, let's open these five standards. See what we get out of it. DD Gregorius, okay. Already own him though. Open to get some AL cards because we've got to go after them now. We're after the AL now. AL is next and it's going to be... You know, even harder because there's somebody called Mike Trout in the way. Okay, we pulled Lourdes Gurriel Jr. All right. Let's open this gold pack and we'll take... Um, I feel like it doesn't really matter here. I'll take All-Star. Let's open our two bomb packs. See if we can get lucky, maybe. Just give me... Okay, give me, like, Ozzy Albies. Or a guy who could go diamond. Or give me, like... AL. <laughs> well, you gave me AL. It's fucking dupe, though. God damn it. Of course, I did that to myself. George Springer? That's a good one. I'll take that. That's a good one. All right. Pennant race pack. Mike Scott does not make it to the rotation, even if I wanted to give him a chance. Uh, Wade Davis makes the pen, though. Are you kidding me? Uh, he's probably going to play Matt Barnes. Matt Barnes can come out of the pen. 
NL West pack. Who am I going to take out of this? Brandon Webb. I don't see him making a rotation. We've already taken everyone. We'll, we'll give Tony Gwynn a shot. Does he make it to my outfield? Though my outfield's insane. He doesn't even make it to my outfield. He can go on the bench for... Nolan Aaron is a perfect bench bat for lefties. Probably Willie. Willie's like the only guy who's kind of just balanced across the board. You don't really want that for bench. Bench you want fully focused on hitting. And 125-125 contact is perfect for bench. All right. So we're going to have Tom Glavin probably start this game. Mark Pryor would be nice to keep on starting him. I do like Mark Pryor a lot. But we're going to we're gonna go ahead and stick with the new guy that I just got, Tom Glavin. And we'll see how this team can do. We uh, we still have Cody Bellinger starting at first, by the way. Which might be kind of insane, but the guy's hitting 591, right? There's a difference between a guy who's, you know, on a downward trend of a 400 average, which is still good with 1,300 OPS. It's still great, right? But then when you're hitting almost 600, you got a 1,500 slugging. You got over 2,000 OPS. I mean, how could I take you out of the lineup? We're going to be playing this game tomorrow, actually, so this inside edge will be different. So maybe he won't start um, when we play the game. And if he doesn't start, I have no fucking clue I'm going to have out there. And we'll figure that out when the time comes. But just want to open the packs, do the collections real quick. And we will be getting right into the game. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be discussing my lineup before I get into the game. Or if I'm just going to be talking about when I'm into the game. All right, we got Tom Glavin on the mound. We have Buster Posey and Yuli Gurriel in the lineup. I took out Cody Bellinger because his inside edge is in touch today. Well, Yuli's plus five star. And Posey, Gary Sanchez has been struggling. Posey has, uh, hopefully won't. He's got good stats now. Very good stats. He's got... Who the hell is that? Like, that's not crushed? Or is it? It just doesn't look good off the bat. Yeah, no, it's not gone. Like, really? It doesn't feel good, man. I don't know. Wow, he actually crushed that. That is a very good swing. I don't know why he crow hops there. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Nice. All right. Only pitch he hit well was the sinker. That's it. And there's the first hit of the game with Acuna. Okay. Good stuff, Acuna, with a leadoff hit. And that's not a home run. That is just a single. It is going to advance around our third. First and third with nobody out. Tatis is up, too. Are you kidding me right now? Nope. Wow, apparently that was a swing, actually, though. But we get the walk, and Buster Posey comes up with the bases loaded. He does have inside edge up against righties today. Let's see if his swing's good this year. I thought I, I couldn't tell if that was getting down. I really couldn't. It's a sack fly. He does his job. Reached for it. It was a good swing, but it doesn't look like... Yeah, no. This is a ground out to him. You'd think that'd go between the second base and first baseman, but... Nope. Fucking asking him to hit home run. There you go. Base hit. Two good swings for him so far. No! No! <laughs> Base hit with Alfonso. We got 2 1. I fucking missed that. Foul 3 run shot. Oh my god, I suck. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. 
I suck so much. No, like, no, like I'm actually dog shit. I missed two fastballs up, a hanging change up, um, and then I give up a leadoff hit like that. You idiot. Got him. Nice in a really shitty spot. He's catching that. We get out of the inning. Are we in the dead ball era of this game? How does that not leave? That's 75 power on an 87 overall. All over it. That's fucking posy swing. Who am I kidding? Good swing, but it's a line out. Dude, what the fuck is going on with me lately, man? Oh, everything's just low scoring. It's so fucking shit. And budget cuts, I only scored, what, two runs? What the fuck out here? Give me that call. Damn right. Gave him that call. I get one, too. Disgusting. Jesus. Oh, my God. I thought he caught that. Okay, a cheesy start. I'll take it. There we go. It's a good swing. It's a hit. First and second with nobody out. Oh. Is this field just dog shit? I don't play here enough to know. It's got to be. That's an out. Oh my god, that's fucking unlucky. Because this is just a one run game. This doesn't strike me as a situation where he's gonna be working. You ain't gonna hit! You ain't gonna fucking hit! God, if only it was a no hitter right now and I did that. If only, man. That would have been fucking nuts. Well, he got to that. Oh my god, my defense is really playing like it is a no hitter. Holy shit! First base hit in ages, man. Holy shit! Alfonso, dude. Oh my god. Maybe it's because his outfield is so fast. I don't know. Another hit. And that's in there for a base hit. His third hit of the game. I've hit just pretty much only singles today, though. Nine hits, man, and one run to show for it. Hopefully, that's about to change. Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. Reined in. The second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. I'm in shock. I, uh, I'm still processing what the fuck just happened. It's so stupid. What is this game? I've left the nine guys on base.
stays alive. I thought that was a home run. Oh my god. I really just want this to be a complete game shutout. Just get it over with. Because I don't think I'm scoring a run in the ninth. I really don't. I'm not at all confident in my ability to score a run in the ninth. If I couldn't fucking score a run there, if I somehow got out of that without a run, I don't think I'm getting a run here. Goes to sinker. We get a base set to lead off the inning. That's a good start. It's getting down and we score a second run! That's our fucking hit to bring in a run. Are you kidding me? Why is Kenny Lofton so fucking slow out there? I'm dog shit. Nah, I'm actually dog shit. I swung at that. I'm dog shit, dude. There's nothing else to explain what that just was. He gets a hit to lead off the inning. And that's game. We win it 2 nothing. We score just as many runs as we did in the budget caps video. Something's wrong. Something is fucking wrong. Um, two great pitching performances, though. Tom Glavin, nine innings, three hits, seven strikeouts, no earned runs, and Julio pitched a great game, too. He's probably going to go parallel one because of that game. God, man, 11 hits and two runs. This low in the ratings? I don't know if I want to play on my main account anytime soon until I got this fixed. Holy shit. All right, boys. Well, that's going to do it for the video. Thumbs up button if you did enjoy. Subscribe to my content like this. As always, I will see you in the next one. Peace.